we are here with Ashley DePaulis of Ash Fitness, and she's gonna share with us how we can ignite our inner athlete avatar. So first off, I wanna know what is an inner athlete avatar? Yeah, so a lot of times people will say to me, I don't have an inner athlete because I was not an athlete in high school or college mm -hmm. or even now today. And I challenge them to say, yes, you do. Uh huh. So I provide with the inner athlete avatar a range of activities that can count as athletic. Awesome. So we're yeah. going to be moving today. Yeah, we are. Good. So we can start with bocce ball. How many of you think bocce ball is athletic? I don't know what bocce ball is. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played bocce ball. <laughs> So bocce ball is an Italian game. You have one black ball and then a bunch of other colored balls. Uh -huh. And you can have so many people on a team, but it's very social. So you okay. can have a drink in your hand. You know, older Italian men might be smoking a cigar. Okay, I like, I like the idea of having a drink in my hand while playing sports. Yeah, yes. so it's fun. <laughs> it's fun, leisurely. Good. But the cool thing is, what makes it athletic is when you're holding the drink in your hand. So let's just uh -huh. hold that drink in our hand. Okay. And we have a ball. Okay. Okay. And then we see that black ball in front of us and we want to hit it. Okay. So it's a lot of hand eye coordination. And then balance. Like this? No, you're not going to throw it. Oh, we're going to okay. roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> I didn't right. tell you that. Don't throw a ball at anyone. Okay. <laughs> so you have your drink. <laughs> And you're looking at the black ball. Okay. And you're gonna keep your eye on that black ball. You're gonna bring your arm back and you're gonna roll it and try to hit that ball okay. in front of you. Okay? Got it. So in that, the reason I consider it athletic is the balance, the hand-eye coordination, and then, and then the target. Oops. And yes, you're yeah. taking a squat down, you're swinging your arm back yeah. to follow through. So it's not just Okay, I went to the gym, I spent 30 minutes on the elliptical, and then I lifted weights. Uh-huh. So that's that's one leisurely activity. I like that, okay. It's kind of like bowling too. It's yeah, like, you know. and think of everything that, if you think of competitive bowlers, I mean, think of how oh. much goes into that. Yeah, I was so good at it in high school. Yeah. Yes, I had my own sparkly red ball that said <gasps> my nickname, it said Nikki on it. Oh. Made for my fingertips. Yeah, and so how often do you think of that as like, being athletic or being... I did not think of it as athletic. It yeah. was kind of like the nerd sport. I didn't yeah. tell anybody. They announced it publicly at mm -hmm. the award ceremony in high school and I was just kind of like this. <gasps> so Crystal from the bowling team. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool that you're saying that because I feel like these inner athlete avatars actually take a little bit they lessen the guilt and shame uh -huh. in the health and fitness game nice yeah because we can consider all these activities that we enjoy as ones that well, i don't know where i'm going with that like it's still athletic yeah even if yes um even if it's not like uh what you look at on tv like yes. the big time soccer players yes. or the you know, basketball, yeah. I don't have to be drenched yeah. with sweat yeah. to express my inner athlete. Yes. Nice. Yes. So on the <laughs> other end of that, because we're just talking about the sweat and the grit and the hardcore work, yeah. is if you think about Bo Jackson. So he played a multitude of sports, uh -huh. baseball, football. Wow. Um, so the training that had to go into that was pretty intense to be good at all those different sports. Yeah, that seems crazy. Yeah. So there are the people who are more drawn to that. Mm -hmm. Like I, I need to train in a particular way right. to get a certain result in an activity okay. that I would like to play. You know, the whole point of this is to say that no matter what motivates you uh -huh. to get moving, it counts. Yeah. It counts because it's kind of like that tortoise and hare. So you have the the tortoise that moves very slowly, uh -huh. but they're consistent. And that yes. consistency over time, no matter what it is, whether it's walking, playing bocce ball, maybe both, uh -huh. or training like Bo Jackson, gets you to your end result, which awesome. is feeling good, alive, and with tons of energy. Nice. Confidence. So if you want to feel alive, 
have intensity of and con and confidence, mm -hmm. then absolutely work on that continuous mm -hmm. process of getting fit and active mm -hmm. versus focusing on being Bo Jackson. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <enough. laughs> Thank you so much, Ashley, for those tips. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. So ignite your inner athlete. Because if it doesn't motivate you, it won't move you. Awesome. Thanks, everybody.